Hello. Um, my name is Lily Brown and I attend Boston University. This semester, I work at Madison Park Development Corporation. My title was Youth Workforce Fellow. 101 days ago, I was on a plane. The plane had just taken off as I peered through the small window and out across the outstretched wing. Below the wing was a vast and beautiful sea, deep blue in the Mediterranean sun. Looking out towards the land, I can just make out the city where I went to school, the building where my best friend lived, and the neighborhood where I spent two years, where the rest of my family is now. Slowly the land becomes smaller, the sea becomes larger, and I am left with an empty feeling of apprehension as the water slowly engulfs the coast. A few hours later, I land over another body of water, this one in America. We fly over the Boston Harbor and touch down smoothly at Boston Logan Airport. Three days later, I'm alone in my room, in my apartment, surrounded by the loyal of the footsteps of my neighbors in a foreign, faraway city. Until now, I have never lived alone in a room that was mine, where I essentially had to take care of myself by myself. Additionally, I had to work in an internship that I didn't know much about. I remember the uneasiness I felt when I walked up to my site for the first time and rang a bell. A million thoughts and emotions were surging in my, in my mind as I walked up the steps and into the office where I would spend the majority of my next three months. The first word that comes to mind when I look back on this experience is spontaneous. The reason for this is because every day I woke up uh, unsure of where the day would take me. For example, on the third day of my internship, my mentor asked me to go on a live radio show with her. It has 30 views on YouTube. <laughs> and for my special project, I had to teach a classroom full of kids something that I would never have willingly done before. When I stood in front of the class of about 20 kids, I remember thinking, how did I end up here? I felt out of place and terrified as the intense gaze of the kids pierced mine. I do not remember much from that lesson, but I do recall that after I finished, I felt confident in my ability to do it again. With this newfound comfort with spontaneity and myself came a frenzy of change. I knew that on the plane over here, I would inevitably morph into a different person as I faced a new life alone. And I was not wrong. The semester was filled with hurdles and hardships that I had to overcome and was forced to work through to endure. Living alone gave me the clarity and ambition to become who I truly wanted to become. I found myself discovering who I was and what was right for me. This experience enticed my courage and instilled in me a desire to do more, learn more, and grow more. By the end of the semester, I learned to trust myself and allow myself to reach further to squeeze past the unpleasantness to truly succeed. Looking back to the beginning of the semester, I can see how much my confidence in myself grew as I continued to teach my workshops every week and slowly figure out living life on my own. Every aspect of this experience taught me something and I am confident that these skills will carry, me with, carry with me into the future. It most certainly was not the easiest thing in my life and it will definitely not be the hardest. However, this semester paved a path towards my future where I'm excited to try more things and push myself to reach new horizons. I'm not the same girl I was on the plane, but I'm a version of her that she would be proud of. Thank you.